check in on the world of sports. So this week we have Omar Tello with us to give us the update. Hey, Omar. Hey, Ashley. Great to see you today. It's good to see you too. Thanks so much for being here with us. Anytime, anytime. We're all excited. Yeah, so let me know what we got going on. That's right, Ashley. Can you believe it's already week eight of the regular season? The playoffs are coming up and teams all over the area have interesting matchups. Once I get on the right camera here, would you like to see where we're going tonight? Here are our featured games. Terre Haute North is coming off a nice win. They're back home for Indianapolis Bishop, Bishop Chittard. The Patriots beat Southport last week. Who is the opponent for Terre Haute South tonight? Actually, how about that? The good thing about this game, somebody will get their first win. Meanwhile, the Northview Knights go for their third straight win as they host the Edgewood Mustangs. Northview 5-1 and one on the year. How about this? A battle in Park County, Riverton Park visits the Park Heritage Wolves. Also, the Linton Miners are undefeated. Head coach Brian Oliver and the guys are at Eastern Green. The Miners are 7-0, and while in Sullivan, the Golden Arrows are 5-2. and They host Indian Creek, who comes in 2-5. and One final page, Ashley, just down the road, the North Central Thunderbirds will host Traders Point. North Central going for their third win. And our friends in Illinois can't forget about them. It's Lawrence, Phil, and Robinson, both of them 3-3. Three and three. So it should be good matchups across the border there. So, Ashley, it should be another interesting week, week eight of going to the end zone. Hope to see everybody back here tonight for week eight. Yes. Okay. I cannot wait. Now, look, I know you are a football guy. Absolutely. You guys cover all the sports, mm -hmm. but I'm a basketball girl. Absolutely. And so I want to ask you about your opinion on the latest news from the Lakers. LeBron has finally come out, mm -hmm. said that he is fully vaccinated, yeah. and he and his family, and that's causing a bit of a Star in yeah. the league. What are your opinions on that? Uh, I, for one, I'm a Laker fan. We were kind of just talking about this, and I know LeBron said he didn't want to be like an activist, but he's such he, he holds such a, a high status in the league and really among pro athletes that yeah. I think him saying that is just such a big big step because we just mentioned L.A. now is the third NBA city uh, that is requiring vaccine mandate for players. Yeah, New York and San Francisco also. Mm -hmm. So it's a situation like it's interesting with a guy like Kyrie Irving who doesn't have the vaccine. I think right now and is he going to play in the games for yeah. when they play in New York and Brooklyn there? So it's a it's a fluid situation, and we'll kind of see how that plays out. But really, a big big issue right now. Yeah, and I know the Mavs have recently uh, put into place restrictions, mm -hmm. and you got to have a COVID test or you have to show full vaccination. Yeah. And I just think him making that uh, that, announcement that announcement is big news. Yeah, yeah, and I know he said he didn't want to be an activist, but I think a lot of people might follow LeBron's lead going forward. I hope so, yeah. guys. I want you to stay right there because we got more Good Day Live when we get back.